videos. My name is Carla and I do new videos every week. So please remember to subscribe to my channel here or on the description box if you're watching this your cell phone or your mobile, whatever, okay? So today I'm gonna teach you how to make the six layer rainbow cake. This cake is very, very, very simple. And the Spanish word I'm gonna teach you guys today is how to say rainbow. We say arco iris. We are gonna make a very delicious arco iris cake. So I really hope you guys like it. If you do this cake, please remember to send me a picture to my Facebook, my Twitter, or my Instagram, okay? So let's get started. For this cake, we are going to need six disposable round pans and two boxes, cake boxes of your choice. And we're also gonna need some food coloring. I chose these six colors. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare the cake. Since we are using two boxes, we are going to double the ingredients from behind the box, okay? From the instructions. In the box, it says that we should add water, but instead I like to um, add milk. So I'm gonna add two cups of milk because I'm doubling the ingredients, okay? And one cup of vegetable oil, and lastly, six eggs. We're going to mix it very, very well. And then we're going to separate the mixture into six different bowls. And we are going to add a little bit of food coloring into each bowl to get that colors we want. The purple, the blue, the green, the orange, the red, and the yellow. Then we are going to grease the pans. You can use um, pan, the spray, or you can use, I don't know, like uh, butter. Then we are going to add the mixture. And we're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes under 350 Fahrenheit. And meanwhile, we're going to prepare a buttercream frosting. Seriously, this frosting is the most delicious frosting I've ever tried and it is very easy to make. You're going to need six cups of cane sugar. It is very, very important that you sift the cane sugar or otherwise it won't be that great. Then you're going to add two bars of cream cheese and two bars of uh, butter. They have to be at room temperature. It is very important. Then we are going to add two tablespoons of vanilla. Then we're going to mix it very, very well. And after a couple of minutes, it's going to look very creamy. Trust me, you don't have to add any milk or water. You just have to use the mixture for a couple of minutes until you get this like creamy frosting. Seriously, it is great. It is very, very yummy. For this cake, we're using a lot of frosting, but if you're doing like a regular cake, you can use half of the measurements that we use, like three cups of cane sugar, one bar of cream cheese, one bar of butter, and one tablespoon of vanilla. After the cakes are ready and baked, we're going to let them cool for about 20 to 30 minutes and after that we're going to apply the frosting. But before we do that, it is very very important that we cut off the cakes. The cake has to be very flat so that way the like layers won't fall because we're going to add like a couple of cakes. So we add one cake, then one layer of frosting, the other cake and so on. And that is how you make this amazing and awesome, colorful rainbow cake. I really hope you guys like this video. If you do, please, please remember to like this video, thumbs up, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel so you can check out new videos every week, okay? Bye, see you next time.